Isla, firstly, and most importantly, I can see how emotional you are. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know. I didn't really think I could do it, so. such great memories from last year and in a way you know I look back at that week a year ago and I think I didn't enjoy it as much as I should have and after some tough moments this year I thought you know am I ever gonna get a chance again and I can't believe you know a year later I'm in the same position it is absolutely incredible what you've just achieved today Whenever you play Elise, it is a battle and a half. Obviously, you've just said to me there that you weren't sure that you could do it again. Why not? Just because from the get-go, I could tell her level was really high. I didn't know if I could keep up with my physicality. And I know she, she never goes away. She, she doesn't <laughs> give up till the last point. And it's very tough to play against players like that. Well, you did come away victorious. You're in your second consecutive Wimbledon quarterfinal. And that has not happened. Back-to-back -back quarterfinals at Wimbledon has not happened for an Australian woman since Yelena Jokic in 1999-2000. So that is an incredible achievement. So can you just tell me what kind of opportunity this is for you now? Um, I don't even know who I play next, but... Do you want to know? Sure. Elena Rybakina. Okay. It's not um, the world number one this year. Yeah. <laughs> you know, after last year playing Ash, um, I think I can face anyone. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, you know, it's going to be a bit of a more of a contest uh, tomorrow. But, yeah, I think I've le what I've learned from last year is that I have to bounce back really quickly because there's not a day off. And I think the experience that... You know, you have to move on quickly and forget about the positive emotions and just think about the next match is going to help me for tomorrow. And finally, you said you didn't enjoy it enough last year. Are you enjoying it this year? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest thing that's different this year is that my mom's here, and she didn't watch any of my matches last year. Even on TV, she would walk the dog for hours and then just check the score. And I was so mad at her because I was like, what if I'm never going to do this again? You know, you missed it. And well, here you go, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> she hates me now. <laughs> She absolutely loves you, as do everyone here. Very well done. Ladies and gentlemen, Ayla Tomlanovic. Thank you.